The art of rug making dates as far back as 5000 BC. Even in this modern age, it's a labor-intensive process. An average rug may have as many as a million hand-tied knots and take months to complete. In South Asia, where rugs are a key export, children are sometimes kidnapped or sold to factories to keep costs low. And they're forced to work punishing hours at their looms for little or no pay. This woman is fully engaged in the fight to stop this modern form of slavery. Her name is Nina Smith, the executive director of Goodweave USA. Right now, with the um, economic downturn um, globally, there's, uh, there's really a push for cheaper products on the consumer end. And so uh, the, the cheapest available labor is bonded child labor. Smith's goal, to put the Goodweave seal of approval on handmade rugs that are made without child labor. The Goodweave certification label is on the flip side of the carpet. The seal is the rug maker's guarantee that only skilled artisans were involved in the making of these distinctive works of art. Not only does it mean that the product is child labor free, and not only does it mean that the place where that rug was made was inspected, but it also means a percentage of the purchase price is educating children, and that's very important. But the very special thing that we do is actually identify exploitative child labor, rescue children, and then provide them long-term educational support so that they don't fall back into the workforce. Among the thousands of children Goodweave has rescued, this teenager from Nepal. The girl is now 13 and living in a Goodweave center in Kathmandu. She hopes to finish her education and one day work in the sewing industry. To help offset some of the costs of its inspections and rescues, Goodweave charges a licensing fee to carpet makers and exporters to certify that their products are child labor free. Smith says it's well worth it for rug makers to join. The bottom line is money talks. And so if we take away the financial incentive for a producer to use child labor, then we're keeping the children away. So in other words, if a buyer in the United States refuses to purchase from a supplier who's known to be using child labor, who isn't part of Goodweave, then they're losing business. The cost of participating in Goodweave adds about a half a percent to the retail price of a rug, an average of about 10 or $20. But showroom owners and carpet designers say so far, consumers have been enthusiastic. Our customers are very concerned about child labor in the carpet industry. I hear them talking in the elevator in my own building where I work, saying that, oh, they don't want to go to a showroom that, that, sell, that sells rugs that are made with child labor. And the designer will say, well, this showroom is a good we've certified showroom, and that's why we're going there. As for retail chains, Macy's, one of the largest U.S. retailers, now sells Goodweave certified rugs. Goodweave says momentum is on its side. It claims that its efforts have led to a 75 percent reduction in the use of child labor in South Asia rug factories. Smith says child labor is a problem that can no longer be swept under the rug. Maggie Lake, CNN, New York.